Hello, I'm from the Australian Government. Now that we've completed our 20-year mission in Afghanistan by handing it back to the Taliban, it's time to blindly follow the American Empire into another massive shit show. Introducing our new military partnership, AUKUS. You see, China's government, the CCP, has been a dickhead lately, threatening Taiwan, imprisoning millions in Xinjiang, illegally occupying islands in the South China Sea. Not that we give a shit about that. AUKUS allies are experts at illegally occupying islands like the Chagos Islands, where the Brits kicked out all the natives to build a US military base, an occupation the ICJ has just ruled to be unlawful, or like Guam and Hawaii and, well, all of Australia. But what worries us is that the CCP is trying to be as big a dickhead as us, and we can't have that, which is why we need AUKUS. AUKUS. To join AUKUS, we tore up a $90 billion submarine contract with the French and didn't even bother telling them in advance. AUKUS. Lol, remember how we said we couldn't cancel that billion dollar contract with Adani because it would create sovereign risk? So now you know we're full of shit. But hey, look on the bright side. By bullshitting and stabbing an ally in the back, now the whole world knows what it's like to be an Aussie under this government. I am, you are, we are Australian. Of course, our real sovereign risk is this guy. Because without consulting Parliament, Scotty from announcements decided to buy nuclear-powered subs from the US. And since we can't fuel, maintain or deploy nuclear subs, that means he's chained our long-term defence policy to the US. You know, the country that's on the brink of civil war, where the current leader can't remember our one's name and the previous one still doesn't accept the outcome of the last election. Cool and normal, pal. Another perk of us having nuclear subs is that Australia will be a potential target for nuclear strikes. It also makes everyone less safe by weakening nuclear non-proliferation standards. But the best part of AUKUS is that we have no idea how much it'll fucking cost. Low estimates start at $100 billion. In a country that can't seem to afford $80 a day to lift people out of poverty or fund the NDIS or housing affordability and mental health. Which is why the biggest fuck you of this deal isn't to France or China, but to every one of you. Fuck yous! Some say the best way of responding to the CCP's shit fuckery is to form stronger relationships with our close neighbours and together apply firm, consistent and united diplomacy, which is probably true. But then we wouldn't be able to wedge Labour on national security at the coming election. And that's what this bullshit announcement is really all about. Australian Government. Authorised by the Department for Announcements and Photo Opportunities. 